Hey everyone, Jared here. There's so many people out there blowing hundreds and hundreds of dollars on desktop PCs with beefier specs than they actually need. Well, this is the Byte Plus from a company called Azul. Azuli? Azul? Now be warned, for less than $200 for a fully functioning Windows 10 desktop PC, you're not gonna get a lot, just the essentials. Having said that, I've reviewed many PCs in the past, and looking at the Byte Plus, they have come a long way. But getting the specs out of the way, what we're looking at here is a fanless system with an Intel Cherry Trail X5 Z8300. Not the X7 version, unfortunately. Uh, we also have either two or four gigabytes of RAM, depending on which version you get. I was sent the two gigabyte version. And then 32 gigabytes of internal storage, which is expandable with a micro SD card or USB storage. The box itself is very compact, so it'll fit on any desk or even tucked away in your entertainment cabinet as a mini media PC. But what stood out to me the most was its build quality. I gotta say, this thing feels like it was machined out of a solid block of aluminum. On the front, we've got our power button, which lights red when it's in standby and blue when it's running. On the back, where all the business is at, from top to bottom, we're looking at a VGA out port, USB 2.0 port, a headphones port, two USB 3.0 ports, a LAN port, an HDMI port, and the power port. There's also a Kensington lock slot and the Wi-Fi antenna, which, by the way, supports both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bands. Oh, and a micro SD card slot on the right side. Now, as mentioned, this does come preloaded with Windows 10. It's 100% legit, but the only catch is you can't use the Windows key from this box and apply it to another machine. Having said that, it's got everything that someone looking for a bare bones Windows 10 machine needs. It loads up pages quickly for me using Chrome, but can take a bit to fully load media rich pages. It runs Plex and Netflix just fine in full HD, though admittedly, Video loading time is a tad bit longer than on some of my other machines I have around the house. And for those of you wondering if it's game capable, well, not that I've tried, but based on my knowledge of what is slightly capable, like the X7 CPU, which is a few steps above the X5 in this machine, the most you can hope for out of this little guy is maybe some mobile games from the Microsoft Store. But for browsing the web and some light multitasking, or maybe as a dedicated media PC, this thing's perfect. This is the sort of PC you buy your parents to replace their crappy, slow and outdated PC. You know, the one with the cream colored tower case that was never really meant to be opened. But anyways, I'll drop a link in the description below for you, right below that like button. But that about does it for this one. Thanks as always for watching and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Cheers.